Okay, I'm gonna walk you through our approach for how we do adoption acceleration, change management, business readiness, how you wanna do it. This is a simplified approach. Um, we've got the methodologies from the big consulting firms, ProSci, uh, even some of our larger clients have their own methodologies and we've kind of boiled that down over the years to something super simple. Uh, we'll typically do some additional stuff, but when we're having conversations with clients about what it actually is and what the approach is so that they can have something to grasp onto, some deliverables, this is how we talk about it. Uh, so, so the first thing that we do is we assess the impacts. And what that means is, is that we'll look at the process impacts, the technology impacts, the organizational impacts that may be coming uh, in a, associated with whatever this technology project usually, sometimes it's not a technology project, it's something else. Uh, maybe you're doing an organizational redesign, you're launching a new business unit, all of those sorts of things. There's a, there's a process of going through each step and diligently assessing each of this. This is your classic people, processes, and systems that everybody talks about uh, that really makes up any uh, enterprise company. And so we, we tease that apart and we'll give, we'll give an assessment impact, high, medium, and low, across these areas and across different functions of the organization. So for example, you might be doing some sort of big system implementation that's impacting your sales organization more than it's of affecting your finance organization. But you'll, you'll end up with a deliverable, a heat map, if you will, that assesses those impacts across your organization, across people, processes, and technology. That becomes the single version of the truth that then you can develop a strategy and your plans off of. So it's a very important step. It's called stakeholder impact assessment. If, you're, if you wanna get nerdy and change management-y about it, if you hear that terminology, that's what we're talking about. So you gotta get that right. From there, what we'll do is, is we'll develop a, kind of an integrated change strategy. How are we gonna work our way through this. What does that even mean? That's a fancy consulting term, an integrated change strategy. All that means is in an integrated way, and we see, we see even change management consultants miss on this. A lot of times you'll hire somebody that thinks that they're a change management consultant and really all they are is a communications person or they're a trainer. So you gotta be real careful in who you're dealing with. What you need is you need an integrated approach to communications, training, and support. How are you gonna to communicate to my people to prepare them, hey, a change is coming. Hey, that change is here. This is what it means, you don't surprise them. Then when it's here, then you train them. But you can't just show up when it's go live time without sufficiently communicating to them and train them. You're gonna shock them, there's gonna be all kinds of disruption in the system. And then once you've trained them and you've gone live, you've gotta support them through the change. Diligently laying this whole thing out in one integrated approach. We've, we, have, we have backfilled so many firms and so many consultants and as soon as we put this story together of how we recommend on one page, it's one page. This isn't fancy. You gotta know what you're doing, but you, 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 this isn't a 30 page document. Be careful of consultants that give you 30 page documents. A lot of that's recycled material. One page is usually what this looked like. And it's, it, it's a timeline. And there's different columns, communications, training, and support, and you can in one page see how that's gonna lay out. So as an executive, you can visualize in your mind and get comfortable and confident that I'm, that, of how this thing is gonna play out and that the people leading this on my behalf have their stuff together, they have a plan. 
So that's again what we call an integrated change strategy. It's holistic. So naturally, once you've got that strategy and you can see that, you can come up with a very detailed communications plan, training plan, and support plan. And what that is, that's like a long Excel document or Word document that's listing out 15, 20, 30 deliverables of different communications events that are gonna occur. And these might be super discreet things, right? It could be a communication that's gonna go out from the leader to the manager, and then the manager to the staff. It'll include things like updates to the executive leadership team or the board of directors. We wanna be explicit. Sometimes you, you underestimate how many communications really need to occur to keep an enterprise updated on what's going on and what the appropriate level of communication is. A lot of what this is on the communications plan is it's controlling the narrative in the enterprise. It's controlling the water cooler talk. And if you went to that one meeting for the region and you updated all the salespeople and then somebody over here starts talking trash, they'll be like, oh no, 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 wait, we just got an update on that, let me correct you. So you'll be surprised how many true activities end up on a communications plan, but you wanna see something pretty explicit. If you think about an Excel document that's like, you know, 50 lines long, 100 lines long, tells you what each communication is, who it's from, who it's going to, that's what a deliverable looks like that's good on a communications plan. That's how you can start to question and pick apart your consultants. Similarly, on a training plan, You'll see it broken down by different stakeholder groups based off of this uh, impact assessment all the way back here, right? This group, the process for these users is changing. We're going to develop a training material, whether it's a video, uh, a, 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 an operating procedure. We're gonna change the operating procedures. We're gonna develop a manual and leave with them. All of that is gonna be developed and laid out in your training plan, okay? Support plan, when we go live, what is our tactical uh, support? Are we gonna have people at certain people's desks? We've put in these uh, trading and risk management systems before where you've got traders trading oil and you know, crude futures and just all this complicated stuff. You can't break them off for five hours to go to a training session. So you do a little bit of training, but then you get them back to their desk. We've just sat people there to support them. Literally, they just sit at the trader's desks and they're right there, raise your hand, we run over to you, we support you. You know, what's needed and what's appropriate? Is there a hotline? Is there a help desk that they need to call? Do we need to prepare the, the internal uh, company help desk that you call? All of those things need to be laid out in detail in a support plan. And by the way, once you've got this training plan and you've got this support plan, you communicate it and you tell the users how you plan to train them, how you plan to support them. And that eases the anxiety of the users as they move through the process, okay? So you can see the flow of how this is, how these things just one leads to the next, right? So as we kind of keep moving forward, once we've got our plans, then we can start to build the materials and execute, right? Are we running an agile project methodology where we're just iteratively rolling out technology releases? Are we going waterfall where we're staggering it into big chunks? Or do we have a big bang approach? All of that is gonna be tied back into our strategy and we're gonna build materials repeatedly, right? So we've run agile releases where for every single release, every month or two, we, we're running this whole process and we're just cranking out materials constantly. And the, and the, inter, and the organization, the enterprise, starts getting used to 
receiving these drips in a certain way. Accordingly, we would adapt that, you know, for a waterfall or a big bang type of an approach, right? So you've got your, just to recap, you've got your assessment, what is the change, right? You've got kind of a holistic integrated strategy. From that strategy, you move into your tactical plans, and then from there, you're starting to execute. And then from there, we're always, especially if we're running agile, we're always evaluating and adapting. One of the common things we hear, because we run very large projects, is the organization will say, hey, dial it back, dial back the communications. And we'll say, okay, we hear you, got it, there's a big change, we just wanted to make sure we didn't under-communicate, right, we didn't want to undergun it. Uh, and so we're getting that feedback, we're adapting uh, all the way through this thing and we'll kind of recycle. So that, to be perfectly honest, is a world-class approach. We could give you a 50-page deck that would overwhelm you. We've got binders and binders of materials and templates and tools. But to be honest, this is the conversation that we have with our executives and, and a lot of times the business owners that kind of own business readiness uh, and preparation of the organization. This is what we describe that makes them feel comfortable. So hopefully this gives you a good working knowledge. You can challenge your consultants. Uh, you could maybe do it yourself. Uh, you, would, you might struggle, but, you, but if, it's a, if it's a low impact uh, type of an initiative with low value, you could try it with internal resources that aren't specialists and you could get used to it, right? But hopefully this gives you the type of overview that, that gives you kind of that next level of detail of understanding what's under the covers, how it works, and, and, and what the value is.